This video is a journey into the past of the Chatham Naval Dockyards throughout over a hundred years of history. I will explore the major events of the dockyard's history and what the dockyard has become over the recent years. First up, the turn of the century and in 1905 HMS Africa was launched. Submarines became an important part of the dockyard and in 1907 the C-17 submarine was the first submarine to be built at Chatham Dockyards. World War I came and Chatham Dockyard was mostly used for refitting and repairing ships. The workers also continued to build various submarines and vessels. Nineteen twenty three saw HMS X one on the River Medway and at the time was the largest submarine to be built before the launch of nuclear submarines. World War Two broke out, which saw the return to major work of building, repairing and refitting ships and submarines. The dockyard got bombed, as explained. Um, I have to After the war, work continued to slow with the focus of building nuclear submarines. My father was working in the dockyard. He spent an awful lot of time here because the men in the dockyard had to work what they called post-war credits. It was, called. it was an overtime. Anyway, if they, they did get the money for the work that they did until the 1950s. But they were not ever forced into doing it and they got those after. The last submarines built for the British Navy were Oberon, Onslaught and Ocelot, which remains at the dockyard today. The last three submarines were built for the Canadian Navy. After this, the dockyard was mainly used for refitting and repairing ships. Closure of Chatham Dockyard marked a sad day for the entire Medway Towns. Not only did many people lose their jobs, many people also lost their livelihoods. So let's have a look at the dockyard of today. Well, the dockyard of today is split up into various parts. There's a residential area called St Mary's Island and there's Dockside Outlet Centre which provides many different shops, restaurants and entertainment.
Medway Tunnel, built in 1996, offers an easy access to Strood from Chatham. In 2005, the University of Kent decided on new premises at Chatham. Combined with Greenwich University and Canterbury Christchurch, they form universities at Medway. Buildings such as the Drill Hall are taken over and new buildings gradually erected to offer up-to-date facilities. Last but not least is the remaining dockyard, which has now been turned into a museum for everyone to enjoy. Some of the vessels such as HMS Cavalier are on display and there are loads of great activities to do. Film productions take place here such as Call the Midwife and there are buildings that the University of Kent has taken over to offer courses such as fine art and music. OK, well that takes us up to now. There are many interesting and exciting new developments to happen and there is an amazing historical site here and will continue to be for years to come.